Hello. Mandy Shirley, Creative Memories Advisor, back again with some more tips. Um, if you're like me, I had a problem with vellum. I didn't know exactly how to use it. So I reached out to my team and one of my fellow advisors on my team helped me with some awesome ideas for vellum. So stick around to the end. We're going to make one together. Um, if you don't already have an advisor, I would be honored if you shopped with me right here. Um, Currently, we do not have any vellum available. It's supposed to be coming back in September, but I'm gonna use some of it right now and I'll show you, so hang on. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you is in a book that I'm currently working on. And the way um, this fellow advisor explained to me is vellum is just another layer of paper, but she had this fabulous idea. Um, I had already done this page with just a window in it but I decided to put some vellum in it and made it look more interesting right but look how cool this is so now you can see the pictures on this side through the little snow globe isn't that cool so there's one way to use vellum um, here is a fun page that I did oh that's upside down so I just had a layer of paper back here, the vellum's showing water, and then I layered it behind my photo mat and my journal mat. And it looks really cool. And I used the um, Victorian blade on my trimmer. This is crooked, I realize. But I think it turned out really cute. It'll be awesome with pictures, obviously. But just another layer of paper. Here's another idea, just a fun, Summertime border, ocean border, um, just another layer of paper. So you can see the background through it. It just looks cool. I tore that. Um, here's another one. I love this one. So she tried to make, I tried to copy her, obviously. I copy, you know that. Um, this is sandpaper from, this is from an old paper pack, but, um, I just layered the vellum and then added some platinum shimmer and I distressed it a little bit, which I don't know if you can see that, but I tried to make it look like the foam, you know? <coughs> so that's fun. And then I wanna build one with you. So I have this fun blue vellum paper. It looks like water. And she did an awesome page that I want to do with you real quick. First, I'm gonna punch some fishies with our friendly fish border punch. And I probably need to cut a straight edge on this so I can use it. I love our 12 inch trimmer, so handy. It's on my desk all the time. Okay, so refresher on the border punches. Um, you start on the black line on the front. So we will just slide this in on the black line. Um, one tip, one good tip, if your paper is not wide enough or it's hard to see where you're lined up at, just use a sticky note. Line the sticky note up with your edge like so. And then just shove that in there on the black line and you know you're starting in the right spot. Now, with these, it's not like mandatory that you start on the black line. You can start anywhere. You just have to make sure that when you go to the next spot, you just cover the blue in the tray. And make sure your paper's all the way at the top. You don't want to see any blue in this little tray. And there's markings on both sides of the trip of the punch so that you can go either way okay there we go those fishes are so cute little friendly fishes and then i'm going to punch an orange one is i'm going to take my scissors and i'm going to trim up on the orange I'm gonna get rid of, I'm gonna make a little more dimension between these, these guys. 
Seems like you can't really tell where one fish starts and one fish ends. Punch away, I'm just gonna punch a few more. Of both. That's probably enough. So there's my little swordfish looking fish. There's this guy. Let's trim this guy's nose off. Look how cute. So they, you can make them just standalone punches too, right? This guy needs a haircut. I really don't know what kind of fish this is. It looks like a shark. And then I wanna cut this guy out. Just a little fussy cutting. And I think I need another sword fit. I also have these from Serene Waters, I believe, that I wanna use. I'm gonna put my punch up. Done with it. I'm gonna get my trimmer back out and I'm gonna use the deckle. It's my favorite. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut like a half inch off the top. Half inch is right here by the eye in. You can see it, that's half inch. So I'm gonna cut a half inch here. And then I'm gonna use that. And then I'm gonna cut like, um, let's see, how wide is this? This, yeah, we'll do two inches. So we're gonna cut two inches off of here. And this is scrap, so I'm gonna set it aside. Next. Oh, don't forget to put your straight blade back in. And put your deckle back under so that you don't lose it. I'm gonna get my decorative trimmer out and I'm gonna take some of this blue and actually I need more of this. So this is a waist cut, we don't want that. And then I'm just gonna angle it. This is what I was looking for. It'll work. Okay, so I'm gonna glue those down. Get my tape runner out. I like the looks of all of that. All right, so with vellum, they do, we do have a vellum tape runner refill i don't have it at the moment so i'll show you especially with like this printed vellum just don't use very much and then you just kind of burnish it so you can't even see it especially with this printed stuff is that not the cutest Okay, let's put the top on. Again, I'm not gonna use very much. You really won't be able to see it. Oh. And then we gotta put these guys on. Blue first. And then the orange. We gotta make sure we got it right though. There we go.
Okay, and we're just gonna layer it, but off center a little so that it's a, like a shadow. Look at that, folks. Is that not the cutest page? Pretty quick and easy, super cute. Add a few pictures, maybe of snorkeling or just at the beach or at the aquarium. Okay, so now you have some ideas for your vellum. Be watching for it coming back in September. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I have lots of fun new uh, videos coming up. And like I said, if you don't have an advisor, I'd be blessed and honored if you would shop with me. Don't forget to look for my smiling face at checkout. Um, go to my Facebook page for my event schedule, including Zoom options for those aren't who aren't local to me, including my um, Croptoberfest coming up in October. I have two scheduled, and we have a great new collection coming out to celebrate. And thank you so much for watching.